Hello everyone, this is Bauer X and today I'm going to show you my favorite assault rifle build for the next update. Uh, but first I'll let you know what the weapon status mean. Spread aim means when you're aiming down sight with your scope and the value is just an angle. As lower as it gets, as more accurate your shot will be. At the value like if the value was 0, 0.00 like the bullet action when you aim down sight the bullet will exactly th drop where, where you aim at uh, the hip is when you hip firing like without scooping in move is when you moving while you're shooting whether you were sprinting or running for the build you know most of the builds in Blacklight are useless and the next update is coming I hope they fix that and for my stock I use the Vito stock which because we don't have like much option in this game most of them are like were based on the PC version so all of them like improve the recoils and embarrass the spread which doesn't make sense at all and then for the mag I use I like to use the Vulcan quick load mag I used to use the extended mag but it's time to move on like my aim is really good now and I don't really care about this 15 bullets left after a while you will just get used to it the second part which is the Barrels. I don't really care about my barrels. Most of that, my times, I was using the default. All I need in this gun is actually the muzzle, which I consider one of the most important part, and the scoop. The scoop. I literally tried every scoop in this game, and I like the server wood accuracy, like the aim point and many other scoops but I really like the aim point ammo counter because it's like one of the best and help you a lot it's not like the other uh, scoops were made like for long ranges it's actually really helpful in middle range and for the muzzle I know most of you will use the uh, most of you using the arm calm muzzle but I feel more comfortable playing with the arm calm since like every muzzle in this game has like its unique voice or unique uh, visuals some of them will show like fires going around your gun like those over here but with time it will get annoying with uh, hip firing so I tried something every also I tried every muzzle in this game but I kind of like this one and this one most because the sounds and how they fire it was really good so right now expecting me to go to public match and get 50 kills on noobs random noobs but I won't do that but I'll show you how I made my settings for this game I would go to the training mode and show you all how to do your settings which is kind of important in this game if you want to be more accurate than ever also with fast reaction and less respawn time first of all I will just return all my settings to random oh, sorry to the default and then I'll show you how it feels playing with the wrong settings right now I'm looking at the last two target in here so if I try to aim at them it won't be like really smooth it will be just like in steps so, but if it, I try to hit firing them it will be really bad trust me it will be really bad and the aim assist won't help you at all like if you try to move between the targets it will be like really hard especially from long ranges so what to do is after you turn all your settings to run uh to default sorry first of all start with the right stick dead zone and try to decrease it until 
we reach like two point uh, two and less than two uh, basically like not five but basically less than two and thirst started to try again until you feel like your aim became really smooth like so now it's better than before but try to make it more stable and after you do that you may feel free to change the rest of the setting just notice that you may want to stay away from the zero dead zone because it will be more accurate than you can handle and the aim assist will be useless in that point uh, because it will be like every small movement even when you don't do it it will just mess up with your aim and it will get you out of the aim assist many times after you set your dead zones you are free to change the rest of the settings the eds and the look sensitivity for the eds try to decrease it to the half since the dead zone are really low and you'll be able to control the speed later and for the look sensitivity it depending on your armor and your speed if you're using like high speed armor you may need less uh, look sensitivity and for the left dead zone it doesn't matter what dead zone you are in because eventually you still move like the same speed whether you were like pushing too hard or really slow that's all with the settings and remember the gun builds doesn't give you superpowers it only helps you a little bit against other players um, if you have any question just leave it in the comment and have fun